This is Razer's latest docking station, the Thunderbolt 5 Dock Chroma. Let's unbox this together. So there's two different finishes. There's the Mercury finish, but that one doesn't come with the Chroma lighting. So if you want that Chroma lighting, you need to get this black one I have right here. What's different about this compared to previous Razer docks, aside from being Thunderbolt 5 compatible, is two major things. Number one, the ports are all on the back. This is really nice because previously the upstream port was on the front, so it kind of made things messy because there was always a cable hanging around on the front. It comes with a Thunderbolt 5 cable and an AC power cable and a very large power brick, so figure out where you want to store that. Let's get a better look at the bottom though because this is the other big change. There is a spot that you can open up and add M.2 storage to your device. You don't even need a heat sink, and for reference, this is my Samsung solid state drive. The heat sink is that red part, but because of this thermal piece that's on the lid and the vents on the side of the dock, overheating isn't an issue. Let's get a close look at those ports. You've got three and a half millimeter audio, various USB A and C, as well as Thunderbolt ports, plus an ethernet cable, 10 ports in all to add to your setup. And that's a better look at the vents on the side so that your internal storage doesn't heat up. And that's the spot for the SD card. So that's my quick unboxing of the Razer Thunderbolt 5 dock Chroma. Do we need a full review? Do you have any questions at this point? Please hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think of this new docking station from Razer.